بالنسبه للعصام سيد السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله we're in the city of the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم right next to the prophet's masjid the green dome is behind me على ساكنها افضل الصلاه والسلام and i just uh, there's an extraordinary app that uh, one of the scholars from the eastern province has put together which is called historical locations so it's hislo and you can download the app and it's extraordinary what you can do when you're in uh, arabia for instance if you want to uh, go uh, to medina then you just download it and now we're in medina and it shows you all the historical sites that uh, that you can see so for instance if we want now just to uh, go under the well of salman al-farisi or you push here the fortress of kaab ibn al-asharaf and then you could go to them uh, and if you augment the reality then it will literally show you so right now here the mosque of prostration is one kilometer Uhud is 5.7 kilometers. The eastern house here, the house of Uthman uh, ibn uh, Affan, which is right here. It's actually li literally right here. So if we, we push on here, yeah, Uthman ibn Affan's house. So we're literally right at the house of Uthman ibn Affan, was right here. And then, so if you go to the house, it gives you a map. It'll take you to the Google map if you want. Uh, you, whatever you want to see. Uh, it's really quite stunning what's been done here. So Sayyidina Uthman was literally uh, killed uh, right over here. Radiallahu anhu, he's buried with the Prophet. So it shows you, you can also, one of the most extraordinary things about the app is that you can actually get your Qibla anywhere uh, in the world. So, uh, and, and it's been done according to a Euclidean straight line. So you get the, uh, a straight line right to the Kaaba, wherever you are. Um, and this, one of the things that uh, was discovered about the app is that the, the if, you, if you go on Google Maps and this bothered some people, the Qibla appears to be off on Google Maps. But if you actually, it's off because of the great circle. But if you actually do a straight line, uh, ignoring the curvature of the earth and literally almost going through the earth, you actually get a, the Qibla is perfectly aligned from Medina to the Kaaba, which is proof that Jibreel السلام, who gave the Prophet the Qibla, uh, gave uh, a prophetic Qibla, it's a, it's a divine Qibla. So the Qibla here is perfectly uh, aligned with the Kaaba. It's really quite stunning. Um, so if we augment the reality here, uh, you can just move around. Uh, and anything that's, we've, we've limited the distance, so anything that's in the distance of it, uh, it comes up. So here again, we have Uthman's house. So that's the only thing, but you can actually extend it uh, to make the, the routes uh, closer. Uh, so these are all the places that one can visit while you're in Medina. Uh, the Masjid of the Two Qiblas, so you put it on, and there you're at the Masjid of the Two Qiblas. Uh, if you want to go to it, you push go, it'll give you the Google map or the Apple map. You push on and it shows you how to get there. So it'll literally take you uh, to the Qibla. You can go 13 minutes uh, from it. It gives you the exact GPS coordinates. I mean, it's really a stunning app uh, that was done to help people who come visit these places. One of the most important things about visiting these places is connecting with actual places where the Prophet Wasallam walked, where he drank from. These are historical sites, but they're also uh, incredible uh, spiritual uh, sites. And, and we know that Abdullah ibn Omar, he followed all of the places where the Prophet ﷺ went. This was done, uh, it's an extraordinary act of love. It's a love of the, uh, the prophetic sunnah, uh, the seerah. Nothing's been done like this uh, in the history of Islam. And so uh, I would recommend anybody for downloading this app. It's called Hislo, H-I-S-L-O. You can download it uh, and learn to operate it quite easily. And uh, inshallah, people will really find great benefit for the Quran. A, a, a large segment of the Quran deals with history. One third of the Quran is sacred histories. History is a very important part of our tradition. And also another aspect of uh, the uh, there are many places mentioned in the Quran. Egypt is mentioned, Palestine is mentioned, Syria, 
um, Yemen, all these different places that are mentioned in the Quran are geographical sites. And every single place where the Prophet went is, is on this app. It's been identified, the coordinates are identified. So uh, people who have a, a great interest in that history and in the Sirah, uh, have, uh, and also the Hijrah route, what's called Darb al Anbiya. More than 3,000 Prophets uh, traveled uh, the Darb al Anbiya, the road of the Prophets, to visit Mecca. So uh, it's really quite stunning, and um, I would recommend it for uh, anybody. Uh, who's, uh, who has an interest in the historical sites, but also uh, who has just a love of uh, the Prophet Sallallahu um, One of the things about um, uh, the Arabs in particular, in the Jahiliya, they used to just go to the places of the Beloved and they would weep over just the places where the Beloved had been. It's called Buka al atlal in the Arabic tradition. And this is something that uh, uh, human beings do. Uh, they, they visit places where they might have been with a loved one and they remember those places. So these are the, the, the places that the Prophet uh, the beloved of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and our beloved Habibullah wa Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So inshallah I hope that people uh, download this app and benefit from it.